Naturalize the dream spreads into my backyard. It is raining. I have fallen asleep listening to downpour on a greenhouse vinyl roof. I have fallen asleep listening to laments by Natalie Goldberg. Nat, she calls herself, when chiding or coaching or encouraging more writing. The gnats have emerged from hibernation or larvae to buzz about my face, agitated by the upcoming storm. Or are they midges, fungus gnats, all winter have harbored among my two well-watered plants breeding, eating the sweet succulents, and now emerging. Lightning flickers and the computer growls, but it will go on back up if struck, I hope. Thunder roars back, shaking the window frame, but still far distant. The pressure before a storm weighs down upon my head, flattening the scalp, wedging premonition into febrile brain. The storm itself will not shake free. It is not just the drama of stirring boughs and pelting rain, for Natalie's voice as I sleep advises writers to rein in their wild mind, even though it might rear and buck. Through the storm, I listen to her thunder and lightning tape, skipping stones across the pond, skipping ropes that pull us both to other dimensions beyond the known. Somewhere beyond the pervasive rattle, waves break on the shore, species diversify. Thank <laughs> you.